My name is Jackie Jagon, and today I'm going to take you through intermediate strength workout. There is no equipment necessary, and we're going to have a very strong core focus. So today's workout will look like this. We'll have a warm up, then I'll take you through three rounds that have four exercises each, and then I'll take you through a cool down. That is the structure of today's workout. Make sure you have water on standby. Make sure you have a towel. We're about to work hard and get sweaty. I'm going to take you along the way. All right, ready to go? So. Starting with the warm up, we have four exercises. We're doing them each for 45 seconds. Exercise number one wide stance, hands behind your head, weight in the heels. We're going squat to stand to opposite elbow rotation. In three, two, one, let's go. Drop, twist, drop. You're going to straighten your knees almost all the way before you go into that twist, opposite elbow to the opposite knee. As you sit down into your squat, I want you to make sure that your knees are not passing your toes and your knees are in line always with your middle toe. Your chest is gonna stay open and your neck will stay long as you drop down. And remember, you are just warming up, so don't try to go crazy here. Just let your body get into a flow. Woo! Keep your breath moving in through the nose, out of the mouth. You've got 10 seconds. We're gonna move on to our next exercise, which is a walkout plank. I'll talk you through it. We'll move through it together. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, here we go. Feet are back, shoulders are back, neck is long from here. Nod your chin to your chest, roll down, hands down. Walk it out into a plank, find your plank hold. Hips down, try to keep your knees straight as you walk back and roll up. Again, chin to chest, roll down, little hamstring stretch, hands reach down to the mat. Walk it out, shoulders over, wrist, hips down, neck long. You can bend your knees on the way back if you need to. You can bend them on the way down if you need to. I know that you guys are doing absolutely amazing. You've got 15 more seconds. I want you to keep breathing and moving through. Woo, and through the nose, out of the mouth. We've got time for about one more of these, and then we're gonna go into our next exercise. Last five. Good, you've got three, two, one. Stand it up, shoulders on top of hips, feet are parallel, alternating step back lunge. One leg back, opposite leg forward. You're gonna keep your front knee right on top of your ankle. Back knee is gonna drop right underneath your hip. So this is what I want you to think about. Golden rule, your knees are 90-90. Front knee, 90 degrees. Back knee, 90 degrees. Now, how low you can go is gonna be up to you. So modification can be either to go a little bit slower or to not drop down as deep into your lunge. You have 10 seconds. I'm gonna turn and face you, we'll go into a lateral lunge. Woo. My heart rate's coming up already. What about you? How are you feeling? Here we go, last five. Open chest, we go for four, three, two, one. Face the front, parallel feet right here. Shoulders open and back. Step out on your right leg. Look, right knee bend, left leg straight. Bring it in, switch other side. Sit it back, control it in. Good, sit it back, control it in. Weight goes into the heel, all 10 toes face forward. Chest is open. Nice. All right, so now we're starting to feel warm. We are feeling good. We've got about 15 seconds. We're gonna go right back to the top and repeat that all one more time. Second time through, that's the juice. So now your body is feeling awake. You're feeling ready to go. I'm gonna ask you to become a little bit more present up here as we move through the second round of the warm up. We have three, two, one. Let it go, shake it off. Nice job. Take a deep breath, grab some water if you need it. We're about to go hard. All right, awesome job warming up. Let's move on to round one. So I'm gonna give you four exercises. We're gonna do this two times through, one minute each. So yes, that means you're gonna work for eight minutes, but I need you to trust me, I will get you through this. Let me show you your four exercises. Exercise number one, simple, air squat. Your hips are gonna go back, weight in the heels, arms overhead, shoulders down. We are picking up the tempo a notch from the warm up so we can really get some burn in the glutes. Exercise number two, lateral squat walks. So yes, you're staying in the squat, hips back, your hands are heart center, or if you need to check in with your hips, fine. Two walks to one side, and then two walks to the other side. You are not coming out of your squat. That is the challenge. Got it? 
All right, moving on, taking it down to the mat. Exercise number three, laying down on your back, hands underneath your hips, extend your legs to the ceiling. From here, leg raises, lower your legs down, draw your belly button into your spine, control your legs up, leg raises. And then exercise number four is a double crunch. So your arms are extended, your legs are extended. You're going to exhale, curl your head and shoulders up, hands to the outsides of your ankles, crunch, and then inhale, reach it out. See if you can keep your head, neck, and shoulders off of the mat. Every time you draw in, your abs are coming in more, right? So don't worry. I'm going to repeat that several times, and I will call out modifications. So if it looks hard, I got you. Just trust me. We are in this together. We've got 10 seconds, and we're going to get started. Yes, so first minute, air squat. I will turn to the side so that you can see my form. Roll your shoulders back, chin up, chin up the chest. We're starting in four, three, two, one. One air squats, here we go. Round one, woo! So you're gonna notice that I am not overarching my lower back. My spine stays fairly neutral. And as I raise my arms overhead, my shoulders stay down. Modification, you can slow down the tempo or you can bring your hands only to heart center. It's gonna get your heart rate up a little bit less and be a little bit easier to maintain. Otherwise, here we are pushing our tempo. Speed squats, air squats, yes. Woo. I need you to check in with your knees every single time. Knee over the middle toe. Knees do not roll in. Knees do not roll out. Good job. You got it, you got it. So I like to think of all four corners of my foot staying on the floor the whole time. You've got 15 seconds. When I say one, I'm going to ask you to sit in your squat and hold it. We are transitioning immediately in five. Down into the squat, hold it. Three, follow me. We've got two, we've got one, sit down, hold. Hands are center, chest up. Sit a little bit deeper. Weight is in the heels. Let's go, walk two steps. Woo, other side. Open, open. I'm gonna pick up my tempo a little bit. Modification can be to slow this down. Good job, guys. Nice work. Weight really sits back. If you feel like your hips are uneven, you can always take your hands down to your hips and just adjust your placement. You want to feel your hip bones, one right in line with the other. You're already 30 seconds in. So I'm going to see if I can get lower in my squat. This is an option to make it a little bit harder and to make sure that you are reaching your full potential today. That's what I want for you. Your full potential, and it might look different than mine and someone else's. And that's okay, but what is it for you? Good job, 10 seconds, we're down on the mat, we're going into leg raises. I have got you, last five, four, let's finish this one. Three, two, one, woo! Deep breath, in through the nose, out of the mouth, lay down, extend your legs long. I want you to put your hands underneath your hips, reach your legs to the ceiling, from here, slowly lower down. Exhale, low back, presses into the mat, lift your legs up, now. You do not have to go as low as I'm going. It is okay to stop here at 45 degrees and then come back up. Totally, totally fine. It is also okay to softly bend your knees. The movement is still in your hips, right? But just another modification if you need it. If you feel like your hamstrings are tight, we are already past the halfway point. Inhale, lower down, right here. Focus on your lower abs. Belly button draws in, lift your legs up. Phenomenal, guys. 15 seconds to go. Double crunches on deck. Woo! I'm feeling it. Are you sweating with me? Yes? Let's go. Last five. Four. Three. I want one more. Come on, don't quit. Two. One. And done. Good job. Extend arms out. Extend legs out. Big inhale. Exhale. Chin to chest. Upper ab crunch. Knees to chest. Hands to ankles. Now try to keep everything off of the mat. Reach out. Inhale. Exhale, crunch it in. Woo! Inhale, out. So you just really worked your lower abs. You were really drawing your belly button down into your spine. I need you to keep that feeling. So upper abs, lower abs, and other parts of your abdominals are now all working together in tandem. Right? So this is a multi-muscle group exercise, and you're doing amazing at it. Exhale, control it in. Modification. If it gets to be too much, stay in this upper ab crunch and just reach down. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach down, right? There's something for everyone. We have 15 seconds, we're gonna go back to the top. Air squat, speed squat. Woo! Yes, I'm feeling that heat. The sweat is dripping already, last five. I want you to breathe when you stand up. Make sure you're connected to your breath. Three, two, one, right here. 
big inhale, go ahead, take a second and do what you need to do. Grab some water, grab a towel. We'll get ready for the next round. Round two, you're gonna see even more core work. Right, so very core focus today. Exercise number one is a push-up where your abs are always working in push-ups. So your push-up looks like this. Hands go underneath your shoulders, hips are down, neck is long. I need you to make sure that you're squeezing your glutes, lifting up. So keep that lift sensation in your body. Keep your elbows bend and press. Modification, knees are down, hips are still angled forward, bend and press. That's exercise one. Exercise two is a half burpee. We are turning it up here. So look, ready? Drop down into that squat. You're familiar with this. Hands down, hop your feet back. Hop your feet in, stand up. Half burpee for a minute. Exercise three, side plank. Let's start on the right arm. So this is going to be one of the more challenging things. So this is an intermediate workout. I'll give you modification options. Otherwise, you're taking a step into something a little harder. Side plank, shoulders and hips are stacked. You're lifting underneath. From here, dip and lift. Got it? Top hand can be supported. You can also bend this bottom knee as a modification. And then your last exercise is simply just for the next minute to switch the side of your side plank. Got it? Cool. Did you have enough rest? Yes? You're shaking your head yes at me. Take a deep breath, let's do it. We are back to one minute on the clock. We are going two times through, one minute each, eight minutes total. Push-ups in three, two, one, go. Long neck, here we go. Inhale down, exhale press. Take your time, shoulders over the wrist. I want quality push-ups over quantity right now. Notice my body, when I bend my elbows, nothing changes. I am not sinking in my hips. I am not sinking my chest to the ground. My arms are controlling me down. I feel my abs looking over time. Belly button to spine, down, Ooh. press up. Optional, knees drop down, deep breath right here. You're already halfway. So I want you to consider your shoulder mobility. Everybody's a little bit different, but if you have the flexibility, you go all the way down, and then exhale, big press up and away. Only 10 seconds, you're gonna stand up. I'll give you a moment to transition, last five. Weight is over the hands, four, three, two, one. Good job, drop your knees, big inhale. Exhale, roll up, five seconds, you're going. Whew. Can you see my sweat? This is real. We are working. Burpees, half burpees, no push up at the bottom. Let's go in three, two, one. Drop down, hop back to that plank. Hop in, hop it up. Good job, drop down. Four engages, hop back. Nice, hop in and up. Modification, drop down, hands down. Walk your feet back, walk your feet in a little wider than your hands. Stand it up. So what I'm telling you right now is that you have options. You can start out one way and you can choose to finish another way if you need to do it. You are already halfway there. Already halfway there. Let's go. Down. Plank, shoulders over wrist. In, up. You do not need to rush this. Quality over quantity. You have a full minute to work on it. Woo. Yes. 15 seconds. All right, you're doing amazing. Keep it up. Drop. Up back. Hop in and up. Last five. Ooh, give me one more, one more solid burpee. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Good job, drop down to your knees right away. Your right arm goes down, elbow under shoulder. Stack your feet, stack your hips, stack your shoulders, open. Once you're in this position, dip, lift. Now, look at my upper body, open. Not here, not rounded, chin off the chest. You can put this hand down if you need a little assist, and again, you can drop your bottom knee if you need a little assist. Tap, squeeze, and lift. Tap, squeeze, and lift. Now, I know you're thinking obliques, which is correct. You're working your abs, but look. Relax, outer thigh. Everything, total body is working. Only got 20 seconds until we switch sides. Woo, good. Drop, lift and squeeze, open chest. Amazing, amazing job. Tap, lift and squeeze. Last five seconds, we switch sides. In four, stay with me. Three, two, one. Let's go right to it. You got a minute to go, then we're back at the top. Woo! Open chest. Dip, lift, and squeeze. Chin off the chest. Good. Body weight, strength workout with the core focus. I know right now you're feeling your core. Yeah, so I'm thinking about my bottom side of my core, my obliques, my rib, and my hip are squeezing together. I'm using my outer thigh to push away. I'm using 
using my laps to engage. I'm trying to keep a smile on my face just for you. And I want you to know I know quickly this is not easy. This is hard. You've got 25 seconds. We're gonna go back to push-ups. Yes. So your shoulders, hello. They're still gonna be working. Woo! Yes. 15 seconds down. Control it up. Again, options if you're starting to feel your form go. Put your hand down or bend your knee. Open your chest. Breathe. Drop. Lift and squeeze. Last eight. Push-ups in five. Knees or toes, choice is yours. Congratulations, so you are done round two. Let's move on to round three. It feels great to know you have most of the work behind you. So next round is gonna be very ab and core focused. I want you to get ready for exercise number one. Same feet, same elbow, it looks like this. Hands under shoulders, hips down, neck long. Right knee, right elbow, control it out. Left knee, left elbow, control it out. If they do not exactly touch, it's okay. Then be done, modify on the knees where you won't touch, but also okay. All right, that's exercise one. Exercise two, you're gonna kick your legs in front of you and get ready for a full sit up. Wide elbows, chin up the chest, sit all the way up, control it down, all the way up. All right, exercise three, we're gonna take our sit up. We're gonna sit up and stay right here. Your heels are open, your arms are forward. Lift up, chop to the right, lift up, center, up, to the left, up, center. So it's just a play on a Russian twist where you're just gonna get a little extra fire in the obliques. Got it, cool. Last exercise, hollow hold. Looks like this, chin off the chest, straight legs, just hold, breathe. I'm gonna count you here. You're gonna hold, yes? So you're gonna hold for about 30 seconds. I'll give you a little rest in the middle and then we'll come up and do it again in a minute. Got it? This is it, very core focus. Your last round, get into your plank, same knee, same elbow. In three, two, one, let's go. I'm rooting for you. I am rooting for you so much, you have no idea. Same knee, same elbow. I love coaching people. I love getting people to their goals, right? This is all about you staying in the moment, feeling strong, and coming back tomorrow and getting a little bit stronger. Hips stay down, that stays long. Don't twist your shoulders. So notice my shoulders are really square. Yep. Take your time. These can drop down, right? So here you are. You're still on your hands, your astral, and your knee comes up towards the elbow. It will not touch in this position. That's okay. Drop it down. Now, I get this question a lot. Can I do it on my forearms? Yes. If you have any wrist pain, you can drop down. But listen, your range of motion is also going to be modified. So it's okay. Just know that going in, right? Good job. 10 seconds. 10 seconds are going into a sit up. Let's go for eight. Sit up on deck. It's five. Good. You've got three, two, one. Knees down. Woo. Nice job. Lay down. Hands behind your head. Wide elbows. Exhale all the way up. Control the down. One full minute. The sweat is dripping into my eyes. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I'm working. I'm working. I like to create this idea that we're together. I know there's a screen between us. I'm working just as hard as you. My job right now is to be here for you. So let's go. Hold your wrists, your hips. Modification if you need it. Walk your hands up your thighs. Go slow. Walk your hands back. You've got 25 seconds. That's it. Woo! Big exit at the top. Belly button draws in. Chest stays open and wide. Yes, I'm not going to pay attention to my shoulders. Good, good, good. Keep pushing your last 10. We're going to that Russian twist variation. Roll back off of your sits bones so I am not on my tailbone. My hands are center. Lift up, rotate, chop to the outside knee. Up, center. Up, rotate. Up, center. The higher you lift your arms, the more you're going to feel it in your entire abdominal wall. Right? So if you can modify by not lifting as high. Woo. Good. I need you to twist. Look at my shoulders open. My shoulders are towards you. Yes. Now they're square to my knees. And now they're the opposite way. That twist is key. That twist is getting your obliques to work for you. Yes, I'm keeping that smile on my face just for you. Woo! Belly button draws in. Nice one. This is really incredible stuff. That hollow hold is on deck in 20 seconds. Hollow holds are not easy. They're definitely an intermediate exercise. I will give you options to modify should you need them. Let's go. 10 seconds. Go around this pop one more time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, good job. Lay all the way down. Right here. I'm gonna ask you to start. Arms up, inhale, exhale. Pull your head, neck, and shoulders up through your chest. Feel your abs draw in, which means it's the top. Extend one out, extend the other out, hold. Now, modification will be to bend your knees here, or to put your feet down and keep the hold. I will hold my shoulder blades up off of the mat. My legs are maybe extended all the way out. I'm trying to draw my little abs in, my chest open, loosen up the neck. Yes, you can bring hands back if you need. It will make it a little bit harder. You're resting in three, two, one. Big inhale. Woo. Coming back to finish. Last 20 seconds. Ready? Arms up. Curl. Head to the shoulders up. Chest open. Knees up here. Extend legs out if you can. Go, go, go. Under 20 seconds. Isometric hold. It's a burner. It is a burner. My goodness. 10 seconds. We're going back to the top. You ready to get into a plank? We have five seconds. Open chest. Woo. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. You have completed your workout. Amazing, amazing job today. I would like to take you through a cool down now. All right, so to start out, lay down on your mat. Stomach is down. Your hands are to the outsides of your shoulders. Your forehead is on the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale. Press through your hands as you draw your belly button in. I feel that deep stretch through the front of your core. Try not to sink your shoulders to you. Like just push them down away. Big inhale. Exhale. Bend your elbows. Back down. And then exhale. Press it up. Stretching through the front of your abs. Amazing job. From here, you can just go ahead and pin yourself back into the tabletop position. Draw your belly button in more as you tuck your toes, crank your hips up into a down dog position. Heels are pressing down into the mat. Feel your calves stretch out. Try to get some length in your lower back. Deeply pressing your heels down. Hold it for three, two, and one. Let's drop our knees down and go into a hip flexor stretch. So standing on your knees, shoulders back. Take your left foot and step it forward, and then go ahead and gently press into your right hip. From here, I will ask you to tuck your tailbone a little bit, bring your right arm up, and reach over, squeeze into your back knee, so that deep stretch in the front of your right thigh. Good job, breathe through it. So hip flexor is opening up, move all of that forward. Sit up, let's switch. Right foot comes forward, press forward. Stop tucking your tailbone, open your chest, back arm up, inhale. Exhale, reach over. Good, so now your left hip flexor is really stretching out. You're looking up and over, up and out. Good, lift it up from here. Go ahead and stand yourself up to the underneath your hips. Roll your shoulders back. Big inhale, arms up. Reach to the ceiling. Reach over right side. So you're getting that stretch through the left side body. And a loops. Up through the center, just pass through. Go right to the other side. Right side body, right lats, right obliques. Incredible job. Back up through center, arms down. Interlock your hands behind your back and open your chest. From here, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see I kind of lift my hands down. Wider than hips, soft bend in the knees. Add your chin to your chest, roll forward, stretch. You can release at any point if this is too much. One more deep breath. Good, gently let go. From here, just hang your head straight in your knees. Quick hamstring stretch. Walk your hands out a little bit further so you can really start to feel it in the back of your legs. Good, stop your knees one more time, roll it all the way slow. Your head lifts last, your shoulders roll back, and you are officially done. Amazing job. Do not forget to check back to your phone. See what your energy score is, and see what your rank is, and just remember it. So next time when you come back, you can match yourself, beat yourself, whatever you need to do. Guys, amazing work today. I will see you next time.